Since I'm a positive person, you know I don't like negative exponents. When you have a negative exponent, all that means is that the base is on the wrong side of the fraction line. So, flip the base to the other side. Here we have 3 to the negative 2. All we need to do with this one is put that on the denominator. So that would be 1 over 3 squared, making the exponent positive. Let's go over to 1 over m to the negative 8. Again, let's flip it to the other side. m to the 8 over 1. We don't have to write that. And there's our answer. We just put that to the top of the fraction and made the 8 positive. Here we've got x to the third, y to the negative 5, all over a to the negative 2, b to the 12. This x to the third is positive, so we'll leave that in the numerator. The y to the negative 5 is a negative exponent, so we'll move that to the bottom. On, in the denominator, we have a to the negative 2. That's a negative exponent, so we'll flip it, change it to positive. And we have b to the 12th. That's already positive, so we'll leave it right where it is.